In this video, we're going to focus on creating a sun key chart. As you can see here, it will flow from one point to another. And if I refresh, you will see here we get this nice effect as well. So let's start to look how we can do this with the sun key chart plugin for ChartJS 4. So let's start to look how to create the sun key chart. First of all, make sure you get the boiler template, which you can find here on ChartJS3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next. If you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel. Got a question? Put it in here. So first of all, and by the way, all these links are in the description box. We want to get here the Sun Key library. So to get that, basically you can find here in the chart awesome, you will find here the chart type. You can find here the Sun Key. However, it doesn't give you the item that we need. In this case, what I need is the JavaScript library for that specifically. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to copy it from the JS Deliver website. Copy that. Then, going down here, paste this, save, refresh. Of course, nothing happens because we don't have the sun key chart activated. So we're going to say here now for the type, we can now put in here sun key. Let's save that, refresh, but we get a blank screen or blank canvas. The reason why is we are missing the structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a very basic structure first, and then we're going to go more advanced. So here in the data, we have to look at it the following. We need to know how many categories we have and can we connect it or flow it to a next category. So let's imagine this. We have a restaurant and our restaurant is a fast food restaurant that sells fries, burgers, water and soft drinks. So what I want to do first is to create a sun key that has a uh, food category and two connected food items. So we're going to put in here the fries. So what I'm going to say here from, this is the starting point. We're going to say here, this is the fries category. Then what I'm going to say here too, so that's where we're going to flow towards. And then we will be this, the food category, and we're going to give it a value. So we're going to say for the flow, the value will be, let's say for fries, we're selling over $100 in fries on that specific day. What I can do next is copy this, say burgers. And then we say this one, $500 and let's save this and refresh. And as you can see, we get now a nice sun key chart where we have two categories flowing towards a specific category that we assign to. So what we could do here is at another level to make it a bit more complicated. Let's say we also have drinks and we have water and soft drinks. To do that, we can just copy all of this, paste it in here. Then we're going to say here water and this will be the category of drinks. And then let's say for this, we only sell $50 of water and here will be soft drinks and the soft drinks flows to the drinks category. And then that will be let's say $200. Let's save that, refresh. And as you can see here now, we have this nicely connected. Later on, we'll focus on the colors. For now, we just, uh, we're just satisfied with the current state of the colors that's being defaulted to us. So what I want to do next is getting these two connected. So let's say this is all sales and these are the categories that we calculate the sales revenue, but now we want a total revenue. So I want these to connect it to another point, which is basically the revenue point. So what I'm going to do here is, well, we can just copy this. We can just copy twice. All right. Then we're going to say we have one for the food category and another one for the drinks category flowing towards the uh, revenue. Let's copy that, put it in there. And then of course, what I want to do now is the flow amount, which is the total revenue made of the food should be fries, $100 plus burgers. So that's 600. Then for the water, it's 250. Let's save that, refresh. And as you can see here, this starts to look quite nice. Make sure that the numbers are quite uh, adjustable because if you don't do that, let's say here 200, what will happen is we're missing here items. This can be useful if you're looking at what's going on with the flow of money. Is there something missing? But it doesn't look nice in this case. 
and of course it should not be it should always be recorded so this flow here helps you to show everything visually so we have this here before I change the colors I want to add up here another level of complexity which is for example from revenue we're going to profit or oh, sorry not even from revenue we're going to we're going to break it down in two parts we have revenue so one part of the revenue will be profit and another part of the revenue will go to cost and cost could be broken down into different levels but I will not go deep into that this is not an accounting video we're just going to focus here on breaking down and adding another level of complexity so what I'm going to do is just copy this and then we're going to say here from revenue we're going to do both one will be going to uh, cost or let's say here um, profits another one will be going to cost and the profits let's say that will be only 200 and the cost will be basically 600 plus 250 minus the 200 so that will be 650. If I save that refresh now you can see here we're getting a new level of complexity but this shows it nicely so what I want to do now is give it a color what I want to say here all of these categories of food should all be gray this is just sales data so it has no impact on it until it becomes a revenue in the revenue category we make it green and then we have costs that should be red but the profits should be green so let's start to assign colors to this to do that I need to create here a constant for colors because they equal and let's give this colors this makes it very easy and then I'm going to say here for every key ID basically the fries the food etc etc we can assign a color let's say for fries will be gray comma and then I'm just going to copy most of this except for uh, the fries name this will be burgers paste then we have food paste then we have a uh, water paste we have soft drinks paste um, drinks paste and then we have here the revenue but this will be green because that will be only green and then we have here the profits and make sure the term here or the key will match with the term here profit or profits is plural or not in this case it is plural so I'm going to say here this will be green as well and then what I want to do here cost and the cost is singular so I just make it like that we'll leave it like this all right make sure you have all of these IDs here if you don't have or if you have one missing or misspelled it will give you an error so now if I save this nothing happens yet because we didn't assign the color yet what we can do now is create a function that will say all right if ever we are into this if we get this ID name the key ID go search the matching color for that so what I want to say here constant get color equals the key whatever the key is and then we're going to say here colors and then key so let's say here console log let's see what we get and get color refresh we just give us a key if I can get one here let's say fries save there we are if I say fries it should be gray if I say a cost it should be red beautiful all right so this function works but of course we need to go into the data object here so luckily there is a easy way to go through this that is built in the sun key functionality so what I'm going to say here color from this is all built in into the sun key then we're going to say here for the C so basically in here we're just in this data object so then we're going to say here get color same but now we have to jump from the data object all the way inside here so what I'm going to say here is the C dot the data sets or more specifically here they have in a singular term we can use this data set and then we're going to say here dot data and then what data are we going to search for well we're going to say C dot data index we're going to get the data index of that specific value and then what I want of course 
is the from and the to are like this here but for now this is the color from so that will be gray so we're going to say here dot from so once we got this another one we will do exactly the same except now we're going to say color two same logic except here two like that there save this refresh and now you can see the colors are nicely working and aligning itself so to make sure it is gradient i think by default it already is but just push it in we're going to say color mode gradient there we are comma save all right so now we have this here so what i would like to do now is just let's go one level deeper in complexity on the profits so in the profits i'm going to say another one and it's just fun as you can see it's quite visual so from the profits here we're going to say net and the net will be whatever the profits is let's say 25 percent that is 50 dollars and then we have another one that is the tax although that will that will be really high of course but anyway i will not look at the logic of this but right now you can see here we don't have these specified if i do this it will keep on going until it cannot find the missing one and give us an error so this just means that we're missing a specific value please check as you can see here it will not give you the information where so you have to check it yourself so in this case the net and the tanks are missing we're going to say here net there will be green and the text there will be red save refresh and now we should have a working model here but this is absolutely beautiful as you can see it is storytelling in a very visual way so now we have all of this here we could maybe say we would like to change the text in here to something more specific for example in a uh, capitalized letter b so how can we do this well we can just say here comma I'm going to get the labels and what i want to do here is just for every label we have or for every key id we're going to add up here the label as well so fries will be fries or maybe even french fries all right then we have here burgers will be burgers with a capital b and then we can do here the same with all of them here food drinks And then we have here uh, water is water and then soft drinks that will be coca-cola or something like that well let's say soft drinks yes soft drinks like that and then we have here finally i think we have here the cost that will be cost uh profits with an s will be profits and then finally we have another one and then what well, we have more revenue let's save that refresh i think we have them all oh there we are we're missing the tax and net however you can see here it will not be a problem if you don't have a label it would just grab the key id instead so what you can do here now just to correct that one or to add that one here comma tax tax and then here finally that net will be uh i guess net profit if i save this refresh there we are this works nicely you can see here these are changing and that's basically some of the basic parts of a sun key chart